Today I'm at a supercar meeting that until recently was kept so secret that the drivers didn't even know where it was or when it was until just a few hours before. This is the secret meeting of the Supercar Drivers Club. I'm surrounded by hundreds of millions of pounds worth of amazing hardware at Donington Park. I've snuck in to get some extra testing in my Praga R1 ahead of our race here in October. Beautiful, Ferrari 360, despite the plate, sadly not mine. Nissan GTR, what an absolute brute. Ferrari 458, linear power, absolutely fantastic handling. Audi R8, lovely, bit of kit, until the Lambos came along, kind of stole its thunder. Batman's Mercedes AMG GT, another power monger. The Aston DB9 now fairly well from a few movies. Another 458 Spider, 458, Porsche GT3 RS, nearly as good as a GT2 RS. That's just the car park. The new stuff's over there. I don't know where else you would see something like this, not even in Monaco. It's just... Um, Absolute wonder. So many old and new amazing bits of kit. But this actually is my favorite car of all time. It's Porsche Carrera GT. There's many reasons I love it. It's, um, it's like a surgical instrument to drive everything. You have to be very, very precise with the controls. Um, and the kind of backstory is this is a car that kind of happened by mistake. Porsche had designed a Formula One engine. They had nowhere for it to go. So they built a supercar around it, V10, hugely powerful, makes the sweetest sound of any car on the planet and um, really weaponized. So it's unbelievably responsive. This is the reason I'm here. I'm here to drive the Praga R1, the car I'm racing in the Brick Car Championship. The design cues are very much taken from a Le Mans prototype, slightly smaller in dimension. The R1's packed with aerodynamic features. This flat floor really sucks the air into the car and runs it all the way through to the back. Beyond that, very powerful rear wing and rear diffuser, it's got a big Venturi back there that really sucks the car into the ground. It's perfect for a track like Donington that's full of high-speed corners. We've got loads of power, 365 brake horsepower from this two-liter turbocharged Renault engine that gives us a better power-to-weight ratio than those pesky Bugattis that are hovering around in the paddock. So for me, this is the best car here. We're going out in a session that's loaded with LMP1 prototypes and GT cars from the Mom. So we're keeping in good company. I'm gonna have a great time, see how it goes. Hopefully we'll see it get bigger and bigger if that's possible. This car park's pretty full. 